welcome back everyone my name is sagar and we are back here with another video so today is day 199 of our beauty series and uh, everyone the end is near so tomorrow will be most probably the last video of our beauty series and after that we will just first complete our dsa course so find the minimum gcd of the sibling of a binary tree so this is given a very easy question and in this what you have to do you are you are just given two numbers and you have to find the maximum gcd and uh, you have to just do that thing for our whole tree so first of all what you have to do let us just read the statement so we are given a binary tree the task is to find maximum gcd of the siblings of the tree so siblings mean that this five is the sibling of this two that means they have the same parent okay and uh, you have to return the value of the node who has two intermediate children has the maximum gcd so we have to maximize the gcd value and after that we have to return the node return the parent node so suppose 5 and 2 have the maximum gcd just suppose that example so we have to return 4 here so that means we have to manage two values first of all which one has the maximum gcd and which node we have to return for the corresponding maximum gcd so there we have to manage our two values and uh, we will be writing a recursive function so i can just make it global so here max gcd and i can also create here answer so we have to return some node value in this answer okay so after that our base case if if there is a no value or if the tree is empty then we have to return zero so i think we have to initialize it with zero so if there is no possible answer then we will obviously return this zero and we can also initialize this maximum gcd with zero and at last we will just do a dfs in our tree and at last we have to return the answer so we will just see what are the condition we have to use this so here we have to return the node which has the maximum value all right and uh, here is the definition for siblings and here is gcd so gcd means greatest common divisor so if we have two values and we have to find the largest possible integer that divides both number without a remainder okay so that thing is very clear we will also use here the recursive function for that so after that we will just do here dfs so i think this dfs will return us integer so i will just tell you why because we will need these two children okay so we also need these two children values and uh, after that we will see which is the maximum value or uh, i think uh, that is not necessary you can just use here void and you can directly access these two children but uh, i will just use this way okay so at last we will return root dot data okay so we will obviously return root data so when we call it for our left children and right children we will just return the data okay you can also make it void that is not compulsory here so i will just write here root so first of all what we have to do first of all our base case so this is a recursive function and what is our base case so if our root is equal to so what are the minimum value possible so the minimum value possible is one so that means if our root is equal to null so that means we are at after the leaf node so we are at six and we are calling for left or right so we will return here zero or you can return here any known possible value okay so it is here zero or you can also return here 10 to the power 5 plus 1 that is totally your choice and after that we will just call for the left so what is the left value so either you can just do here write a condition that if left is not equal to null or i will just call here dfs root dot left so you can see here at last we are returning root dot data so that means we will get left data and right data if they are not null and if they are null we will get zero so i have to check if they are null or not if left is not equal to null okay if left is not equal to zero because we are getting an integer value and right is also not equal to zero so if they are zero that means we got some null values okay and if we don't have any null value then that means we have some value here so for one value we either get five and three or for our six value we will get zero zero as both the values left and right okay and if they are not zero both of the values are not zero then we have to check their gcd so we will just get their gcd so i will write here function that will find the gcd of this left and right value and after that we will just check condition if this gcd is greater than our maximum gcd then we will just update the answer so max gcd will be equal to this current one and after that we will up also update our answer will be equal to root dot data because now we are checking for our children that this is our left children this is right children and they will return us a gcd value and if it is the maximum gcd then our answer will be the parent data and else if if their gcd is equal 
so if gcd is equal to max gcd then we have to check the condition that uh, root dot data should be greater than our answer then we will update our answer okay so answer will be equal to now root dot data and that is the condition we were given here so you can just read it here that uh, if there are multiple such nodes written the node which has the maximum value so if the gcd of the some values some nodes are same then we have to return the maximum one so if root dot data is greater then we will just add it here and uh, that is it so after that let me just write in this gcd function and it will return an integer it have a and b so if that is the simple gcd function we can just directly write it here and gcd b mod a and here okay so that is the correct answer Okay, I think we did something wrong. Maximum answer is 5. So, where is the problem? Answer is 0, 0. If our current GCD is greater, then this will be the maximum value, and answer will be also updated. And if they are equal, then answer will be only updated after this condition. So, where is the problem? Let me just find it first. Okay, so there was no problem. We just have to write here a. I by mistake I write here b. So we just have to write here a. So this is the GCD function that you can also remember, and this also makes logic. So that was the question, and the time and skip says space complexities. So we are only traversing in our tree only one time. So time complexity is here of and number of total nodes, right? And there is space complexity of h. So I think we have we have to write here any iterative function so let me know if you have some iterative function approach then uh, we can just add it to the dsa repository so you will also get this solution in our dsa repository and don't worry when we are ending our potd series this dsa repository will always have latest solution of all the potd potd questions okay so thank you for watching